En la bella Cuernavaca, en Ambay, en México, desde nuestra cabaña. Our cabaña is one of four world centers of the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. Cabana's main purpose is to promote international friendship and growth through international experience. I really liked the day the local children came to the cabana. It gave us a chance to learn about growing up in a different country. I didn't know if the kids understood me, and because I don't speak Spanish very well. And it really was exciting to see their faces light up and un really understand what I was saying. I hope that they learn something about us because a lot of the kids will never have a chance to go to the United States and see what people from the United States are like. The name of this game is the electric fence. And this fence, it's electrified with a million volts, megavolts. Under this high voltage wire, there is an electric field, so it's very dangerous. Since we're going to have you all inside, your main objective is for all of you to leave. The only way you can come out is over the electric fence. The only thing that can pass through is wood and this plank. Okay. This morning's exercise was an experience in learning how to cooperate with other people and depending on them to get out of a bad situation and trusting them emotionally and physically. I thought this morning's exercise showed leadership in who could best lead a group of people in a situation that was hard to deal with. In, in this game, you learn how to work in a team. If you want to do something really good, you need the help of the other people. They can help you and you can help them. My group of friends came to the cabana to meet new people and to learn about new things. We learned that stereotypes are not exactly what people are. Everybody has something special about them. My heart is and that even though you can't communicate very well with the other people, you can still be good friends. Confidence in myself, pride in Girl Scouts, friends, and love. Be careful not to water your shoes. Oh, they're not the shoes. <laughs> Becky, can you please come and help us? Okay. Can you hold I started with the Girl Scouts as a brownie, and I've had so many wonderful experiences. I've made so many friends, uh, learned to look for the better things, and I feel I should do something about the things that aren't so good. Now I think that as a leader, I hope I can give some of what I've learned back and pass it on to others. Becky has come full circle in Girl Scouting. Now, as an adult leader, she'll have new challenges, new experiences, and new opportunities to keep on growing. It's a way of life full of opportunity to become